And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Mother's Ramp. Uh, played this deck four days ago and uh, started. it started to feel really good. You know, like we've been tuning it a little bit. This is going to be our third time now to play it. Um, you know, switching out some different cards and everything. Um, and really liking where we had this, um, you know, recently. So basically what we're trying to do is, is stay alive as long as possible. We're trying to use Catalyst of Aeons on turn three all the time, get that extra mana gem, help ramp us, gain a little life, um, because our curve is super, super high. As you can see, basically everything is five plus mana, so we really need that extra mana gem as early as possible so we can spend more mana to, um, to be able to keep up with our opponents. We have our, uh, last time we played, we added in like the Troop of Elnux, um, that those were really good. And then we ended up um, adding in Rekindler that also looked pretty strong, being able to bring back Anivia and Trindamir. Um, and then also put in the Thresh instead of having like the three Rekindlers get one Thresh in here, just get another five mana creature. Thresh is also just a really good uh, unit. Basically this deck's super, super powerful in the late game, but you, we gotta get there. That's that's the hard part. But um, you know, it's all based on War Mother's Call this really cool spell there will come a day when an unmis when an unmistakable call will resound through the freljord on that day all will rise to answer it all right anyway um yeah we get to summon the top unit of our deck now and each start of round it is awesome if we can stay alive long enough let's get to it we're gonna play 10 matches over in ranked um Yeah, there's yeah, there's there's three Anivias in here. You have three Anivias and um, you know, Rekindler bring back Anivia is definitely something that we want to do. All right, we're facing the Thresh Karma deck. That deck's pretty good. I going to get rid of these. Definitely love having the Catalyst. We don't really want Bull Elnux, darn. Cuz we want the Bull Elnux just to be in our deck to be able to get with Troop of Elnux. Which sometimes we can do turn four. You know, like we can go, we can play this Catalyst of Aeons on turn three, get that extra mana gem, and then Troop of Elnux turn four. And then if we can get a high roll with the Troop of Elnux on turn four, that can be really good. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one to beat. Because they, you know, they basically always have a bunch of protection for it. No, we drew another Bull Elnux. Fortunate. Okay, okay. Still got some more. Got some more cows around here. Moo. Interesting block. Okay, they're gonna just let their solitary monk die. Um. Yeah. Nah. Nah. That's what I think I'd say about Thresh. Just nah. We can just do this right now because we're not going to go. Like if we were at twenty, I would wait till the, I would wait to till damage happened first. Take this and then do the deal three, gain three. All right. So next round we'll have nine mana here, and then we can have the extra three 
to get to 12. So this next round, I want to make sure that we I want to make sure that we can bank three mana here. So I have seven total mana to spend. Um, so I'm not playing the other bull, even though you know it looks like we'd be able to play two bulls. Stop. I hope they don't have deny. No deny. No deny. Yeah, no deny. Something ancient. All right, so I'm going to be casting Ruination. Looks like. Yeah, if we War Mother's Call twice, I assume that you just get you get two creatures every beginning of turn, I assume. I won't let you play your tricks. That would be my assumption. Is this even good for me? Should I just attack? Yeah, we'll get two units around. Yeah. That would be sweet. No deny. They didn't have it last turn. No deny. I said, if there's no denying that that was backbreaking. I'll just pass turn instead of like attacking and letting them Spend all that eight mana. No, I should have attacked. Should have attacked. <laughs> Let's learn to my spirit is an unquenchable fire this sick brag Peace comes only at the price of war. I'm going to be casting this Harsh Winds. Why aren't they attacking for four in the air? Oh, wait. If I cast Harsh Winds, I don't get to cast the War Mother's Call. The thing is, I want to shuffle Anivia back into my deck. 
Because I want to be able to grab a Nivea off the War Mother's Call. So it's it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I really like the banter in the game also. All the... Do you like all the banter as well? See, there we go. Get another Nivea. I wish I could cast another War Mother's Call this turn. But it costs too much. One too much. If I must, peace has its cost. Almost lethal. Sounds like a band name. Almost lethal. I'm not gonna play the the bull or the archer. Yeah, I didn't I didn't have the mana for the call. I only had 11 mana. So now I can do a call. Now I got 12 mana. Ugh, rekindler still. You whiffing again. That's our second rekindler, so We didn't get an Anivia, a free Anivia or anything like that. So we're both gonna have we both have a lot of cards, a lot of stuff, and they got we both, then a new. They have triple karma. Or like you know, all their spells are triple now because of karma. We're gonna run out of units here real soon. What happens when you have six units and, and you know, like we don't have the room with the more mothers call? Like, what's gonna happen? Does the unit just stay in the deck, or does it just, or does it get exiled? Because if it gets exiled, that's a lot worse for me. See, we only have room for. Oh, it just gets exiled. That's a lot worse for me. Yeah, they just burn. That's, yeah, that's that's not nearly as good.
you usually see how see how Thresh is usually zoomed in like this, like the card. Look at this one, how it's it's actually like not zoomed in. I've never seen it not zoomed in like this. You know, it's like the full art. But whenever you see it like in play and on the battlefield, it always looks like this. That's kind of different. It's a 1413. That's kind of big. Ugh. So that should kill one Anivia. Begins. GG's. But yeah, like, what are they gonna do? Start killing my stuff? Because I just keep on replaying this Commander Ledros now. We went. I don't know. I don't know why they didn't block with the Karma. I was expecting them to block with the Karma as well. Did they. I, maybe they forgot that the Karma was going. That was. Like the karma was ephemeral and it was going to leave at the end of that turn? I don't know. Anivia plus Funsmith? That's got to be kind of difficult to to get to work. But that could be pretty sweet. That was a crazy game. This deck can definitely play crazy games, that's for sure. Oh no, our toughest matchup, Elusives. It's like our toughest matchup. Want to draw a Catalyst of Aeons or Avalanche? Those are the two cards we want to draw Catalyst and Avalanche. Preferably Catalyst. Okay, well, we'll take Avalanche. Everything's better with company. Says you. Oh, can we give Anivia lifesteal? There's probably a way to do that, right? There's always a way out. There's probably a way to do that. No. Ouch. First step the hardest. They're gonna have some big units on top. They have one plus one plus one from this Omen Hawk that we don't know about yet, and, and now they have two more from those. I I definitely wanted to see like the two ones. Oh gosh, and then they have that jewel protector. They're gonna get they're gonna have some big creatures. Thankfully 
We got Vengeance. So we got Hard Removal. I'll take care of this. Each other. Of course, I have the Vile Feast for that Jewel Protector. These are dangerous lands. Um, vengeance that? Yeah, I guess so. Our hand has turned out very well. Turned out to to be really good with having that avalanche was huge, and the the troop of Elnux was huge. Huh. So neither of these are the things they gave plus three plus three to. We don't know what they gave plus three, plus three to. Like, I, I use Vengeance on this. So they could have another very large flyer. A true Felionian welcome. Let's go this route. All right, we figured out what they gave plus three, plus three, two. That's not as scary for me because I take five, but then, uh, but then it's not flying anymore, and so we can deal with it after that. Who would face me? Yeah, that's good. Looking for this. Yeah, like this one they chose with the jewel protector. If they have the perfect two cards, they can still win this. They basically need two of those or that and a deny. So that's that's bad for me. Please don't have the other one. Crazy. Our hand was so good and we got, you know, like we were so close to dying there after having such a good hand. We could still just die here. Depending on what they have with the jewel protector, what they just gave plus three, plus three to. Without a sound. Wow. Do not stand in my way. We should be good. If they had like another lifelink flyer, they would, or just really any flyer, they could give that plus three, plus three, two. And they had a real big flyer that 
would attack for seven. But this, you know, obviously we have the we have these things. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just start over. No, thank you. No, thank you. One candle for every soul. I'd like my turn to mirror back, please. Alright. Turn to mirror. Good job, Rekindler. We had such an awesome hand, and that was so close. Whew. I guess their hand was, was good, too, though. I mean, like, they, they had a really good hand, also. With, you know, turn one Omen Hawk, turn two the Green Glade duo, and then they had the the Conspirator that was pumped that picked up the green, the Omen Hawk and so on. Yeah, like their hand was awesome too, but just a good game of Legends of Runeterra right there. Hey, what's up, Pools? Doing good. Doing good. Well, it wouldn't have been wouldn't have necessarily been game if I didn't have the ruination because I I could have survived without playing the ruination there because I could have um, just played the thing that gained three life, the catalyst of aeons, and then blocked the Zed with my spooky spiders. Oh no, mirror match. Yes, with your catalyst. I want to draw another catalyst. Let's draw another catalyst. No catalyst, but we got a cow party. No, oh, they have a second catalyst? Lucky. This doesn't look good, good now. Really want to save vengeance. I don't want to use it on this thing. A storm approaches. Such a such a bragger. Tomorrow, 
So this next turn, we need to use the Grasp to kill the Anivia. And then I'll save the other three mana. You can use the other three mana for War Mother's Call. Gosh, they get War Mother's Call right now. That's so nice. They have the double catalyst. Oh, uh, yeah, and they're playing that card. That's that's a card I'm not playing. I replaced that with Troop of Elnux. They seem kind of better set up for the mirror than I am, but... My blade grows restless. But we'll see. A true Felyorian welcome. Pale Striders, these are dark omens. What? What? I smell a fight. What? Today we sure. fight as one. I mean, I guess the game's not over. Even though it's basically over. That thing is big. Let rage fill your okay, soul. now it's now it's over. GG's. That was pretty awesome. The double catalyst. So they got to War Mother's Call even before me with the catalyst. They got to turn seven War Mother's Call. And then War Mother's Call hit Trindamir. Hit Trindamir again. They had another Trindamir in hand. Yeah, the ranking's kind of rough here. Yeah, there's a lot of ranks down. Katarina Ash. I do wonder if Averroes and Sentry would be better than this this three one. This 3-1 Frostbite. I wonder if the Sentry would be better, the 2-1 Last Breath draw card. I kind of feel like it would be. Victory requires a sharp blade. My hand's not that great. Sharpen the blades, cure the kill. I'm gonna hope Troop of Elnux helps us out a lot. I just can't really risk passing and then them not 
If I just pass and then they just say, okay, go to my turn attack, I die. Many tribes under one banner. So I just can't risk that. A true Fanyonian will. Could ruination. Yeah, Nutria, I, I have. Just for a while. Um, I recommend checking out this game if you haven't. Yeah, I really like Legends of Runeterra here. I recommend checking it out. Um, it is awesome. That's a big bold. Yeah, their next three creatures all get plus... For their next two creatures, get plus three, plus three. The people are my strength. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have vengeance kill the crowd favorite, and then I can either grasp or bull. Play the bull. No, not not at this life total. I don't. I don't think we war mother's call with this trampler out here. Because we could we could hit like the three one ice veil archer, and then we would just be dead. I think we have to vengeance that thing first. I oh, still have it blocked, but. Doesn't mean that I don't get to call again now because I use this mana. Basically, yeah, we could hit we could hit the three one, we could hit a three three troop, we could hit even like the, the two four Anivia. At the time, or Bull Elnuk. For the thrill of battle. We have both of our Trindomirs in hand, so as far as hitting one of those. Live to fight. And like Rekindler would just be a 4 4. There's, there's honestly not nothing that really matches up against that 7 7 that we'd be able to hit. Like Thresh would have been the biggest card. The world awaits forward. The safer play is just a Nivea and then and also have Grasp. We can just go with the safer play. Eternal winter. I mean we We're in We're in such a good spot. We shouldn't we shouldn't just lose over something weird happening. I protect this place. Not the best you got. Should play it safe. Thanks, Nutria. Yeah, yeah, this game is very good. Thank you. Of course, glad to have you here. The Freljord's eternal guardian. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> well, we just lost to Battle Fury, Trindamir. You can win on win with it this time. You can't block over here. That's twelve damage. There you go. Not just flesh, rage incarnate. <clears throat> Big Anivia. And we're three and one. Just lost a mirror. This deck feels pretty strong. Ooh, we got a, a champion capsule. I bet we're gonna open a Garen. A Garen and a Katarina. Because Garen was like the one copy of Garen was the only champion I needed left in Demacia. Our capsule upgraded. We got two champions. So we got a Katarina and a Garen. Awesome. Plus got a couple of rares. Awesome. All right, let's see. We change regions. Oh, I need I Ionia and Shadow Isles. Um, yeah, how much money would I say you actually need to invest for the ladder? Honestly, zero dollars. Honestly, this is this the rewards in this game are so good that it'll take you like, you know, a week, maybe like I mean, you won't be able to play every single, you know, deck right away, but honestly, you really don't need to um spend money. Um after like a month of playing without Maybe maybe five weeks of playing without spending any money, you'll have basically all the cards. Um, you know, maybe six weeks. I mean, you know, it depends, I guess, on how much you play, but. But yeah. Um, yeah, if, you, if there's like a specific deck that you want right away, then, you know, you'll have to like get that, which, yeah, maybe like 10, 15 bucks. Basically, be able to get the champion wild cards, but if you just like play your expeditions and and play with what you got, um, I I started ladder with just playing the the beginner decks and like they have it really designed where um, there's no there's no bad cards and so whatever you have in your collection you can you can make decks out of and you know be semi competitive at least and especially at the low levels competitive. That's what. Um, That's that's how they've designed this game, and it, it really is like that. Yeah, Sakara said it really well there. Said this game is extremely generous and free to play. Just be patient. You can unlock pretty much everything in a, in just a few weeks. Yep, absolutely. A chill in the air. I'm starting to think that this should should just be like the two one. Whenever it dies, you draw a card. I feel like it should just be that thing. There it is. Can't afford to miss. Don't really need to play this card. I will unite the frail yard. Mm. Wish I would have grasped the undying that thing.
So here I get to play like a Nivea on turn seven because I don't mind them killing a Nivea because we have the Rekindler, so I get to throw out a Nivea right away. There's a scent in the air. Yeah, which site for for net decking? Um, I use uh, Mobile Addicts. That's that's the one. That's what I recommend. Um, if you kind of kind of click there. Uh, the left hand side that's that's all my decks on there um, but then on the left hand side it has like the meta tier list on the bottom um, and then other just the deck library where you can kind of just go through and see lots of people's decks that they put up there Actually, I, yeah, I don't even know Decks of Runeterra. I don't know that site. Mobile Axe is what I've always used. Um, you can, I mean, you can still go to, you go to like the deck library and you can search, but it's just basically just, um, You can search on there and there's filters and everything. You can search by card name. site right there you know like yeah, it has like the filters that all the decks you can look it up by champion card name all that kind of stuff So again, throwing a Nivea out here right away because I want it to die. Because then if it dies, we get to bring it, start bringing it back with Rekindler. If if Ash attacks and Frostbite, like I didn't let the Ash attack that last turn, because if it attacked at Frostbites, does that count towards Ezreal's targeting a unit? Or does it not count because it doesn't... I don't know. Like, does that count? Yeah, Walker, I have, I have plenty. Like, that's what... Sure. I do that all the time. I mean, that's... Yeah, I do it all the time. I know it's not like not perfect or anything, but I don't, I don't know what the other the other site that you mentioned. I don't know how it works. But yeah, like on here, you know, like you have like the filters. You know, you put in like whatever card you want to search by or champions play style. Like, you know, it has all that stuff. It's not that bad. But it's not perfect. Okay, there we go. That's so the link is just Dex of Runeterra? Okay. No way. Cool, yeah, I'll check that out.
Do I just want to play Trindamir? And they're just going to Frostbite Trindamir. One candle for every soul. And there you go, Golden Guy. Hey, congrats on getting top 500 Mythic. That's awesome. And yeah, now, yeah, give this deck a try, or give this game a try now. They're also a Heimerdinger deck. I don't want them to play that card. There's the Harsh Winds. That flips Ezreal. Now we're going to be Enlightened. So Anivia will transform, level up, I guess, the correct terminology. Eternal winter. Oh, you're very creature attack math oriented? Oh yeah, you'll love it. Yep. All right, four and one. I am too. And so Demacia, like my favorite deck is Demacia Midrange. And that's probably something that you'd gravitate towards as well. Fix this camera. There we go. Yeah, I like how I, you know, even in their their last um, state of the program kind of thing, they talk about how they want the game to be decided on skill. You know, they want they want it to be a very skill intensive game that um, that you have the ability to out outplay your opponent, and so. Things that have too much like RNG in them, they want to limit. And so like they're looking at like the Elnux, I would not be surprised at all if the Elnux get nerfed in some way this next week in this next patch. Yeah, we're number 283 on the on the in masters ranked. Yeah, there's there's iron. Iron, bronze, silver, gold, we speak with blades. platinum, diamond, and then master's rank. And so we, we have gotten up to master's rank, and we are all the way up to number 283. So we're 283 in North America. There's like there's three servers, so we're number 283 on this server. Uh, let's see. Let, let damage happen, then gain three life. We're just going to be ramping towards ruination. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, Perinor, I mean, probably talking about me. I've, there was one day... There was one day we were, like, number... These vengeance here. There's one day that I went from like number 50 down to like number like 800 something by the end of the day. <laughs> it's so volatile. I had like 
two decks that we played that weren't very good that went like oh five with one deck and like another bad record like that they started the day at number 50 and ended at like 800 something Yeah, the Heimer Lux deck list. Um, here, I I have it pulled up here on YouTube. I'll send you the YouTube link in the. It's okay. In the description of the video has the has the link to the deck list as well as the code, and you can check out any of the gameplay there. If y'all are new to the cha channel, I hope you go over there and follow the YouTube channel. I would appreciate that. So if I pass and they pass back, Thanks. Thanks, Rackham. <clears throat> so they did just pass back. So it's at nine mana now, so I can play both bulls, play for some defense. Get them to extend more before ruination. You know, at the time, they, they just had a Fiora and a Laurent protege. So it's just five power in play. Really didn't feel like that was worth a ruination. We get two more. We get two more creatures and a barrier. And then, of course, we used our two Eldnux also. Remember the fallen. Killing the Garen's gonna be tough. A storm approaches.
What if I just pass back? They obviously want me, like I attack, I kill this thing. They take, they take five, like they don't block with Garen. And then they get to just unload a bunch of creatures and then they get to untap and then go to attacks. I think I just pass back and don't let that happen. It's not ideal. I'll admit that is not ideal. Nope. Not a deal at all. I protect this place. I will endure. Hey, Fima. I should I should switch these up. I should have the Anivia block the Garen so Anivia does die for Rekindler. I should switch those up because I do want Anivia to die. That's right. Uh, not streaming tonight. Hope you've had a, a good day. Yeah, playing War Mothers. Have a good time with it. This Fear is the first of many foes. They have so many cards over there. I assume they have a whole lot of barriers. Which isn't good for me. I, I need to block the other way because I need because now like like the Trindomir is gonna die. And then Rekindler is going to bring back Trindomir, and I want Rekindler to bring back Anivia. Oh no, Garen. Uh, Garen flips. I didn't think about Garen flipping. I was going to have, you know, Garen die to this avalanche. Break their spirit and their soul. Oh no. Garen gets another point of toughness. If I double avalanche, my Anivia dies. And they can always just have a barrier and save their thing. One candle for every soul. 
we wouldn't get we wouldn't get a Nivea with Rekindler. We would get Trindamir. We stand strong. I don't think we're gonna win this. I think I, I made just a, it's my fault with the block. Um, I needed to, I needed to, to chomp block with the Anivia and I didn't. I needed to kill it so that the Rekindler brought back Anivia. And then I could have done that last turn as brought back Anivia then attacked with double Anivia trigger. That would have made such a big difference. That's why this game's so great. Run them through. <laughs> so many places to, to outplay opponents. Such naivete. No, it doesn't. No, it brings back. Le like once Trindamir is leveled up, it's it's leveled up. Like just like all the other champions, you know, the, it doesn't. Trindamir doesn't go back to non-leveled. Just like all the other champions. Right, well, Anivia, Anivia hasn't actually died this game. Yeah, but that, that was that was what I... I wish I would have used it. I wish I would have had Anivia die earlier so that I could have rekindled the Anivia, you know, before the Trindamir died, but... I didn't jump block Garen with Anivia. I had a chance, and that was, that was my misplay this game. I mean, we still have a Nivea live for now. For now. For justice, for Demacia. That's a problem. No, okay, yeah, if, if un, no, yeah, Rekindler does not grab unleveled Trindamir dying, because unleveled Trindamir just, um, you know, it levels up instead of dying, so it doesn't, it doesn't count as dying. So no, Rekindler only gets leveled up Trindamir after they have leveled up die. Oh, come on. Save me, War Mother's Call. Save me. Anivia. Could be worse. Raise the banner. Lift our spirits. We stand strong. That wasn't really better. Well, they just had it all. Can't fight on an empty stomach. 
They just have it all. Alright, well, needed to have Anivia die. That was a mistake I made that that game. So we are what four and two? So we're still doing good. Still four and two. With the deck. And then after this we're gonna be playing some spider aggro because of Friday the thirteenth. So our our late night match, Friday the 13th. Got to play the scary deck. So I do think it is... I do think this Ice Veil Archer is the worst card in our deck by a long ways. And after this after this game, I'm changing it. Where's my axe? Yeah, this Ice Veil Archer really shouldn't be in our deck. It has... It's just been a poor card this entire time. Okay, ready. Sure, sure, Fima. Yeah, absolutely. So now can we stabilize? Withering Whale. What a draw. Nailed it. Yeah, absolutely. I'll take a look at it. Feel free to link it in here. Let's make it deep. Okay, so mostly Demacia splashing some Noxus. Okay, I like that. Lucian, Senna, a bunch of Relentless Pursuits. Got me. All right, we're going to replace. So taking out the Ice Veil Archer and putting in the Sentry instead. Sentry can still trade. Makes me worse against fearsome decks. But still trade, draw cards. Yeah, because I love Bannermen.
No, we drew our other War Mother's Call. Um, yeah, I really like... I like... Yeah, basically, I like the, the deck. Um, I could see going a third crowd favorite. Like, crowd favorite looks like a card that's going to be really good. I could see going a third one of those instead of the third Lancer. You know, like, switching those two. Um, Arena Battle Caster could be a two-drop to play... See, look at that. We get that extra draw. Instead of just being the 3 1. I don't know. Would, it, would Battlecaster be better than House Spider? Like, maybe not. Like, that's basically you'd have to play Battlecaster instead of House Spider. But that's not necessarily better. What does he want from me? Ah, the sweet smell of science. Well, Heimerdinger early like this. Heimerdinger plus Flash of Brilliance on turn five probably means that we we die. Um, just how it is. If they, you know, we played against a, a similar deck to this earlier. If they just don't have Heimerdinger right away, and it takes you know it takes them a while to draw Heimerdinger, we are in a great spot. But they do have Heimerdinger. So we in trouble. The spirit of winter awakens. I'm going with Anivia to attack here, not Avalanche, because we have these Rekindlers to be able to bring back Anivia. All I have to do is get the attack trigger. Hopefully we can. They don't have like the mana for a vengeance right now. Oh, that was the random undying. That was the random last breath creature that they just that they just got. Not a bad random last breath creature to get. Not a bad one at all, honestly. This is going good. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Boo. Boo. Yeah, that was a really that's a really good undying unit that they got though. They're just going to kill me with this thing, aren't they?
So I have 11 mana next turn, so I can rekindle her. Plus Withering Whale. A new era begins! Let's go straight to attacks. Basically, the problem with going Rekindler right now is Ruination. But then, you know, like Withering Whale. You know, there's a lot of ways for them to just kill the Ledros. I think I'd make them have another Ruination. Oh, right, we're bringing back Thresh now. Thresh is too big. Yuck. We don't get a Nivea. That's, that's kind of awkward. That hasn't really happened before. That's kind of awkward. This is actually, this is kind of nice though, because we make it so they don't get to gain life. They're taking two. Um, so obviously the Ledros is obviously lethal, but then also these here are lethal as well. We'll see. I mean, they, they definitely are, could be playing life gain stuff, you know, whether it's like Withering Will, Grasp the Undying... All that kind of stuff. Thirteen mana, so not enough for Ledros plus Withering Whale. I feel like having Withering Whale available right now could be pretty important. They could make like some three one three ones in the air. So I'll just go rekindle her. Called it. Yes, yeah, so that's why I didn't want to go the second War Mothers. Is I didn't want them to be able to just get enough flyers to kill me. Which I guess I'd have the Vile Feast. No, I would not. I can't. I couldn't call in Feast. Hey, Zidvar, I'm back. I'm doing good. Doing good. Took an off day yesterday. Hadn't taken one in, in three weeks, so took one yesterday. I thought I updated the the stream here to say that there was an update or that I was taking an off day like the stream title, but I guess I didn't save it because whenever I checked back today, I didn't say it. Um, so I'm an exact copy of this ally. It's a 1-1 one, one and ephemeral. I'll just cast this thing. Gonna make it more difficult for them to win with just two cards. And they agreed. We're five and three. Yeah, I've gotta take a break sometimes. And I know. Right now, my next day that I won't be streaming is in eight days. Not not this Saturday, but the Saturday after that, the 21st. I'm supposed to be driving two hours away and doing an in-person fantasy baseball draft, but 
you know, with the, with all the stuff with coronavirus, I, you know, who knows, but that's, that's the plan for now. Another, another mirror. Maybe you need to send this back also. Maybe you need to just look for Catalyst of Aeons. All right, we got one Catalyst and we got a troop. So rewarded. Hey, after Wizard. Ooh, double Catalyst. Now we need to find a War Mother's Call. That's a cool card too. Don't have it. Pass. 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 <gasps> they did not have Catalyst. What? All right. Uh, we'll go with this. Tilt. Not and ready. Up. Arrows at the ready. So if I go Catalyst this turn, then I can Trindamir next turn. Or I just try to Troop of Elnux again, and then I'm just like Catalysting next turn, and then I get Trindamir the following turn. So it's basically turn one, turn two, turn three, or turn one, turn two, turn three, turn four. How do I want to line this up? Looks like the cow party was the correct call. Decided to go decided to go with that because we don't go with the troop now. We're not really doing the troop later. The war mother will unite us all. Block here, block here, take, take 10. My life for Avarosa. Save the homestead. Avarosans, stand together. We could definitely see them playing Ruination. I just realized this is the Ruination, not Ruination. At least we made them play two cards. Or, well, we didn't make them, but at least they played two instead of just one Ruination. Because, yeah, we'll, we'll see. So, like, basically, you know, like... The, you know, even just like a week ago, you know, the coronavirus stuff was not as big of a deal as it is this week. So, you know, next, you know, a week from today, who knows what it'll be like. Um, so, I'll, you know, maybe that'll be on, maybe it won't. Trindamir hadn't died yet. 
I need it to block slaughter. first. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whoops. I I was just playing too far. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking about other stuff. I was just kind of playing too far ahead. Yeah, mess us up. Because I should have blocked and then rekindled And then after I rekindled I still had the mana for vengeance. could have untapped. Where's my War Mother's Calls? My blade grows restless. Stop drawing these avalanches and grasp the undyings and all those, all those cards. A chill in the air. People just don't help. You'll need more than that. Just don't help. Try passing turn, hoping they play one more thing, then I can ruination. Maybe not. Wow, lucky. I mean, I need to draw that card. Drives under one banner. Doesn't matter. 
Can you do anything? No. Dang, lost both of the mirrors. This time I had double Callist of Aeons and they did not. And I had a high roll with the Troop of Elnux. But I made a really bad play with the Rekindler. And we never drew War Mother's Call, and then they drew War Mother's Call, and so obviously the call versus the no call. Another mirror? Why do we get all these mirror matches? No, 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 replace this! Click too fast. Need to replace all those. Hands really bad. I don't really see us winning this at all. No catalyst. A true Fragnorian welcome. No. No catalyst. No call. Two. Yeah, we have the two two war mothers. Safeguard our home. Congratulations, you win. Many drives under one banner. Avarosans, stand together. Yeah, this is our third mirror overall. Second, yeah, second one in a row. This is the third one that we've played. We lost the other two. So far behind on mana. <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Nothing escapes my watch. A storm approaches. Yeah, we've gotten out out war mothered every single game. No, every single mirror. Opponents have played war mother first or more war mothers. Like two of them, they played war mother. I haven't, and then one of them, they they had double catalyst and ramped into it on turn seven. Ready the torches.
My best chance is they don't kill my Anivia right now. Never mind. And they're at five. I could play Ledros, put them down to two, and then attack. Oh, I am meant to play this thing. Whatever. A chill in the air. This call is so good. Thank you for playing something, pre combat. This is. Uh, yeah, I gotcha. It's gym class heroes, it is the band. Cupid's Chokehold is the name of the song. I get the last four points of damage across. Besides the fact that I can't. Besides not being able to, how do I? Ledros could do two, but I die. Rekindler can do two because the Rekindler brings back Anivia. No, can no, can't can't I don't have any direct damage. Basically Led Ledros and Anivia are my only direct damage. I'm surprised it is so so close. I'm surprised we have we for have this chance of them having War Mother's Call for the last million turns. See the Demastian border from here. 
wonder if they'll run out of creatures. Who would face me? Yeah. It's probably not likely, right? I think that's their last Trindomir, but I think they have two Anivias left. I think that's their third Trindomir. All right, these dogs need to go outside. Uh. Safeguard our homes. This is just. I just don't really see me surviving. Come on. I really didn't see me surviving by playing War Mother's Call, honestly. Something ancient stirs. Return to us. Let's go! Yeah, I mean, I was I was trying to think of like a way of like how War Mothers would keep me alive, but I, I couldn't think of a, a single way that War Mothers would keep me alive. Like, no matter what I got, like if I could if I could get anything possible, they're they're I just couldn't stay alive. All right, so basically we found that that we're we're pretty bad in the War War Colors Mirror. Um, we we went O three in the War the War Mothers Call Mirror. We went O three um, two times. Uh, my opponents played War Mother's Call, and I did not. And the other time, they played War Mother's Call before me. And that's that's it. Like, that's, you know, every single time, you know, we didn't have War Mother's Call, they did, we lost. So, like, that's, it's as easy as that in the mirror. That's really what it's all about. Uh, we, you know, gave it a heck of a run. We tried, but that's, that's what it's all about. Um, but, yeah, I like the list. Uh... I think I like Sentry more than uh, more than the Archer still. The Archer is a lot better against the Fearsome deck. So like that's the one deck where you'd much rather have Archer. And even yeah, even even against Elusives, Archer's Frostbite is going to help against Elusives also more. Control decks you'd much rather have Sentry, um, like. Sentry is so much better against control and then just, just normal like aggro decks. Like Sentry drawing that extra card is really nice. Um, but, but yeah, there we go. So that's that's what we got. Um, I, I really like the Elnux. I, I've really liked the Elnux in here. I think they've been a, a big part of, of the deck doing well. Um, I You know, I, we, we originally started started the, with the deck without Elmux and I whenever I put him in I was I liked the deck a lot more. The Thresh didn't look that great. I was disappointed by the Thresh. Uh, it wasn't as good as I was hoping it was gonna be. I would hope to be there. But anyway, I need to go let these dogs out there. Let me know they need to go outside. So uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and please leave some comments as well. I would appreciate if you could do both of those. You know, uh, yeah, you know, feel free to leave some questions or, you know, any comments about the deck, anything like that. Put something down in the comment section. All right, but that's it here for War Mother's Ramp. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.